All right, hello and welcome back to Kona. Two, Broom. We are in the underground laboratory. Let's carry on, shall we, and see what else we can do. So this is where we ended. I started to go over here, but I decided not to, so let's go over here. And we find a confidential envelope. Circled areas on the map show potential mining locations. Oh, uh, really? Circled areas on the map. There's one and blah, blah, blah. Pickup truck scale model, a popular model. Three points for you if you know what model is a Chevy. But if you know exactly what it is and what year it is, then good for you, I guess. A geode collection. I don't know what year it is. 50 something, probably. Whatever they were called. Employee complaint about defective masks. Read. To the attention of Richard Levasseur. Subject complaint. Employee Bridget Quesnel. Team leader Wing C. Evans. In the early... Well, this is Bridget. In the early afternoon, employee Victor Mitchell... Michael? Mitchell? <laughs> began to feel discomfort. Like employee Hervé Gendron last week. An employee Stephanie Deschamps the week before, as well as three other employees last month. He began sweating profusely, shaking, and vomiting. He spent the day in the infirmary, too weak to go home. This is not a coincidence. The PPE provided is ineffective. The masks are often defective. Enough is enough. We won't stand for this any longer. You have been warned. Bridget Quesnel. Well... Yeah, companies are always trying to get by with cheap PPE. Which is personal protective equipment, if you don't know. If you get a job where you have to know about that and they quiz you on it, you will now know. So you are welcome. If you already know, then sorry to waste your time telling you something you already know. How do I open this? Okay, that's fine. Let me buy another Coke. It's not a Coke, it's a cone. Kona Cola. Kona Cola. Bouvez. Bouvez. Oh yeah, what is? Why is this called Kona? What is Kona? Is that where we are? Like the area? Maybe. I don't know, I don't... I'm sure it towed probably in the first game, but it's been so long. Uh, an impressive meteorite is displayed in the middle of the wing, surrounded by a glass cage. Could it be the main source of Mistonite? Maybe. A letter from Bridget Quesnel accuses HMC of not adequately protecting employees who suffered exposure. Uh, that... That might be how I progress. So let me go, yeah, let me go ahead and check this out. I was going to go up first, but maybe I can't go in. So never mind. Never mind. Did I go down here? Oh, that's where that conveyor belt went. I did not go this way. I got a box. Empty. Conveyor belt. Repair notice. A conveyor belt has been reported, uh, repaired. A conveyor belt that transfers equipment and resources between wing C and the archives is almost once again operational. Should you wish to reverse the direction in the future, simply readjust the gears. Going forward, please refrain from attempting repairs yourself. Call if you have any trouble, J. Oh, but I can't do that. So if I need to go back that way, I can unadjust the gears, which are on the other side. Anywho, so whatever. I don't know what the point of doing that was at all. So that might be the way that I need to go. Quote letter. For the construction of a new wing. Mr. Hamilton, your administration should have received our bid for the construction of the metal forging wing. As understood, my company's structure at support Morin and Phil's is offering its services for the supervisor of the foundation and structural work over a three-year period. We thank you for your continued confidence in our expertise. Please do not hesitate to call me directly if you have any questions, Jules Morin. A lot of Jules is around here. That's a very popular name, apparently. Yeah, let me up. 
Okay. What have we up here? We have a wheelbarrow. Some spare parts. Good, 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 good. Always like spare parts. Batteries, batteries, also good, also good. And I guess that's it. that's the only reason for me to come up here. Can I jump off? No. All right. Well, I can't get off of this. Okay, there we go. Let's see what's down this scary tunnel. I mean, not scary tunnel, regular tunnel, completely normal. I'm not worried at all. Which it is pretty much a normal tunnel, but knowing what I'm in, that being a video game, uh, it has some scary elements. This is a scary place where things will happen. All right, I got a battery. Now I'm just holding it. Oh, crap. That means I have to carry it all the way back. Unless... Unless I can turn the conveyor belt around. But I don't know how to do that. Oh, I can put it in this box. Oh, wait. Did I reach the end of the tunnel? I think I did, but I'm not sure. Oh, man. I gotta go back down. Sorry. I think it was at the end. But I really don't know. A secure location. The entrance to this tunnel seemed unusually easy to access. Okay, well, I didn't notice that earlier. I can't open it. I cannot open it. Okay, I did reach the end. Okay, that's okay. All right. I went back. Oh, sleepy. <laughs> All right, I'm awake. Wait. Oh, looky, looky. From the wear and tear on this drill head, it must have been running day and night. What? You don't know that. It could have been running just day for twice as many days. I don't know. I probably know... Well, I don't. But my character probably knows how long this has all been... Going on. Wait, I, oh, crap. I forgot my battery. Oh, let me let me pop a save. With the battery nearby. Okay. Because I don't want to die or something and have to be reset... And have to spend 10 minutes getting back to where I was. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do -de -do. Sorry, this might take a moment. This way? So I know I'm supposed to get a battery from each wing. So now that I have this battery, maybe I can, you know, like, I don't know, what am I saying? Somebody help me out here. I need to go back to A. Or near A. Actually, the elevator goes right back to it. I forgot about that. So I did not find a battery in B. But I found one in C, so I guess I've done everything in C that I need to do. Alright. Wait. No, no, not A. That's not the That's not the elevator. Oh, I can run. I thought I couldn't run with... Oh, crap. Wait, where's the elevator? That's where it came from. There's B.
Here it is. I walked. There's A. I walked right by this. Uh, okay. I got it now. It's all under control. It's all under control, baby. Don't worry. As. What's his name? Stevie Wonder would say, don't you worry about a thing. Save. Control room. Alright, so now I got the one out of C. So I can turn it off. Oh, I was not looking at what I thought it was. Turn. Wait, now I have three on. Oh. Oh. Oh, I guess because I put more batteries in. But I don't need C. I got it. So I still have to find the one in B. Now I can get into D and E and... Oh, a whole other battery must be for them. So I can just leave these open. I have to get a third battery for those. Apparently, I, I'm guessing. I'm a guessing. I'm a guessing. That's what I'm guessing. That's what I'm a guessing right there. Uh huh. Okay. Let's go back down. Should I go back to B and try to find that? Or I'm just going to move ahead. The D and E. And then if I don't find them, then I'll go back through and catch them. Because uh, maybe... Maybe D or E has two. Maybe the one from B got moved. I doubt it. I really doubt it. But, uh, you know, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. You don't know, so you can leave me alone. It, it, that might be the way B. Okay. I wrote a note. Uh, where did I write a note? It says I wrote a note. I wrote something. Underground laboratory, an alarm blaring, security of place, posters, walls, obsession for control and preoccupation with or prevent. Oh, I already read that. Well, I don't know what I wrote, but moving on. And some more rats and a big accident. Somebody wasn't being safe on their forklift. Battery? Right here? Already? Cool. Nope. Okay. Something bad's gonna happen. I'm ready. You can already tell. Something bad's gonna happen. I see the squigglies. The door is currently sealed. Okay, so I have to watch... Whatever... Whatever I am about to see... For, oh, God. That's why it sounded like something crunching on bones. I thought somebody was eating a chicken wing in my ear. That's actually a woofy. Are you real? No! Oh, you're still alive! Uh. Okay. Okay. Alright. Alright, let's see what it was chewing on. A flashlight? Wait. Oh, rat. Oh, well. Okay, whatever. No biggie. Got a battery. Coo coo coo. Alright, don't want to skip anything, so we go back to the beginning. Somebody's good at horsing. Bethany Hills Private Equestrian School, first place 1965, Francois Delaire. List of candidates for various positions. Blah -de blah -de blah. Somebody's good at stuff, put him somewhere. This other person's good at something, put him there. Okay, alright, cool. Investigation notes about Hamilton's son. So now in Montreal, writer, journalist. Son, now in Montreal, writer slash journalist. Seems to hate his father. Potential source of information? To contact? Hmm, perhaps. Meow. 
<clears throat> All right. And I guess that's it. Okay. On to the next room. What have we here? Cannot open any of the file drawers. None? No. No alcohol? Or maybe it's just no beer. I don't blame them. Incomprehensible scientific formulas. Well, maybe un incomprehensible to you. I understand every bit of that. For I am genius. Yes. Oh, I can open one. Oh, that was loud. Okay. All right. Uh, I guess that's it. I didn't find anything in here. Useful. Oh. It's because I didn't open this drawer. Archives note reveals the location of a battery. Mr. Jonat, for your request, repair equipment, including a battery, has been sent to the plumbing area located in the archives. Mm, yeah, that's good, 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 good. Okay. And what have we here? It's a little dark. Can I turn the lights on? I have a flashlight, I forgot. And 55 batteries. Holy guacamole. Letter from Cree. Cree people's concerns over mining activi activities on their territory. Attention, Mr. William J. Hamilton and the management of the Hamilton Mining Corporation. This document was written in a spirit of openness and dialogue and is intended to inform the leaders of HMC about the Cree community whose ancestral territory is profoundly affected by the current mining activities. Who are the Cree? We are the Cree of Eu Ichchi. We've named ourselves Eu and Inu. Our names simply mean the people. There are over 18,000 of us, almost 16,000 of whom live in the nine Cree communities. The five communities located on the east coast of James Bay are Waskaganish, East Main, Women, women, G. Chisasibi and Wapmagustwi. Waswanipi, Namaska, Ouija, Bugumu, and Mistissini are the four inland communities. And a tenth Cree community, Washaosibi, is being established. For thousands of years, we have lived off the land by hunting, fishing, and trapping. Our guiding values are respect and gratitude to the land and all that lives on it. To our families and those who came before us, and to the Creator for all that He has given us. These values are intertwined with other fundamental elements, courage and patience, sharing and autonomy. For thousands of years, our identity has been forged around our relationship with the land, with animals and with each other. Today, we face the challenge of finding what it means to be Cree in this rapidly changing world. Culture and identity are at the heart of the issue, and of our concerns. Our culture has been eroded and weakened, especially in the context of the accelerated change forced by several major projects. The Cree language itself is doing very well. Practically all Cree speak it, it is taught in our homes and schools starting in kindergarten. It can be found everywhere you look, on signs and banners, in books and films. But despite being relatively healthy, our language is still under threat. This is because Cree society has experienced the same pressures that have led other communities to lose their language. Residential schools and the resulting generational gap, economical, economic upheaval, and the lack of Cree words to describe some of the new aspects of Cree life are all elements that push our language toward precarity. 1.3. Iu Ichi, the Cree territory. Iu Ichi is the traditional territory and homeland of the Cree of northern Quebec. His name means land of the Iu or Inu, the people. We the Cree have occupied and used Iu Ichi for thousands of years since time immemorial. We still do today. Our traditional territory covers 450,000 square kilometers which is two-thirds the size of France. It features lakes and rivers that flow into the eastern part of James Bay and the southern eastern part of Hudson Bay. 
This huge expanse encompasses a wide range of environments, from the salt marshes and islands of the coastal zone to the upland areas far inland, and from the dense coniferous forests of the southern regions to the sparsely forested tundra further north. For the Cree, all of this, the land and water, the plants and animals, is sacred. 1.4. Cree Land Use and Occupation it is important to note that the Cree used the entire territory of Iyu Ichi for their traditional hunting, fishing, and trapping activities. The Cree's traditional family territories cover the entire area of Iyu Ichi, as shown on map 1.4. Well, a tale is Oda's time. Well, at least this time it's Canadians and not U USAans. Not, not us. We're all the same. We definitely set the the office of example. the illustrious scientist who had guided his exploration of this sinister, abandoned underground labyrinth. The place was very much like him, a bit messy, but very transparent about his passions. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to the uh, indigenous this letter was a serendipitous find. Carl had to find a way to reach Wing E. <clears throat> you gotta get the Wingy. But yeah, when it comes to uh, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, uh, the indigenous people of the continent. A lot of this stuff was going on in Canada way back when some of the first stuff. And along the border in the U.S. and Canada. Mr. Hamilton. We have completed the tests on the prototype you provided. I am pleased to inform you that it is functional. It manages to reverse up to 98.6% of the effects of Mistonite. Following your instructions, I sent the prototype to the warehouse in Wingy. Everything was done with the utmost discretion. I remain of the opinion that, for the good of the company, the device and its blueprints should be disposed of... As always, however, the final decision is yours, D. Thanks, D. All right, now I gotta get the wingy. Well, I gotta finish. Where am I? Now? I'm in D. Now we gotta find. I gotta find myself. Sorry to sleep. Hmm. Eh. Can't stop yawning. All right. What have we here? A small capsule. The plant froze because of mistonite. Oh yeah. It does do that to things. Oh, I guess I can turn that off. But yeah, it's kind of dark, so I'll leave it on. I still have 56 batteries, so there's no point in saving them, I don't think. I think it would take like a solid two hours to use all of those. Mystanic Stupor, page two. The effects of mystonite on various organisms. Though mystanic stupor seems to be common to all organisms that come into contact with awakened mystonite, the types of mutations that result from it and their effects vary widely. W widely. A rat's blood turned turquoise. A hare's coat darkened to a glossy onyx black. The sap of some daisies took on a bluish tint, and their petals turned to iridescent purple. A rose lost its thorns and now secretes, secretes an oily irritant that burns the skin. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Page one. Oh, whoops. Mr. Nine is the most curious material. It seems to possess absolute thermal inertia. Exposure to a warm environment does not constrain it in any way. It carries on emitting a freezing cold. Crazy. All of its properties evoke the very crystallinization of winter itself. When coming into contact with it, plants go into dormancy. Animals into hibernation and insects, insects into diapause. We refer to this phenomenon as mystanic stupor. 
In contrast with natural hibernation and diapause, however, Miss Stanix stupor accelerates the process of genetic transcription. This effect seems to stem from its radioactive properties. Like any radioactive material, mistonite induces multiple cellular lesions in DNA chains. What distinguishes it is the heightened risk of mutations occurring as these lesions are repaired, a risk exacerbated by the organism's state of dormancy. It is estimated that over 70%, an extremely high probability. Organisms that survive mystanic stupor thus emerge from it greatly denatured. Such as the wolves that really want to make my days bad. I guess. I mean, I don't, I don't really come across too many actual wolves. Meetings minutes. Ugh, William. Can someone explain to me why we're finding arrowheads with fragments of red mist tonight dating back over a thousand years? But we're still unable to produce more than a gram that decays in less than a second? Is this a joke? There are several aspects to your question. The first concerns the natives' know-how, which the Jesuits pilfered without questioning them further about their methods. Back then, they must have had some clever way to produce interesting variants, or maybe those variants could simply be found naturally. This knowledge is lost. How long did it take them to master the material or discover where to find it? Could be several hundred years or even thousands. I don't have several hundred years. William, we are making extraordinary progress. We just need to be patient. Patience is starting to cost me. And the longer this takes, the riskier it becomes. We're doing our very best. Do better. Yeah, fine, whatever. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. William poopy head. We'll get it done when it's done. You can't rush these things. Shoot. That's why everything went haywire. Wait, can I go in here? That, what? Tightly locked. Tightly locked. They're not just locked. <laughs> they locked tight. Ooh, let me save. I'm in where am I? I'm in Wing D. Weekly schedule. Oh, so many notes everywhere. Spare parts. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about right there. Spare parts. I love spare parts. I can't get enough spare parts. I want some more spare parts. Are there any more spare parts anywhere? Can I go this way? Key card? And power required to open? Oh, that's cool. Oh, somebody's office. Is this Williams's office? Investigation letter. Suspicious. Suspicions about three HMZ employees. Mr. Hamilton, it is my duty to inform you that recent events have provided us with sufficient grounds to open investigations into three of your employees. I am afraid there may be more. At this time, Human Resources Officer Francois Delaire, Heavy Equipment Operator Thomas Matouche, and Pierre-Marc Corbeau in Engineering are all suspected of acting under false pretenses. I will bring a copy of our files to our meeting next Wednesday. Smark. Now, Francois, is that the same Francois that's in the house? Back on the hill that's, that has no heat? Ah, oh, bear! I see too many bears. They don't even scare me. Ooh, top secret information about HMC workers and locals. Notice to Mr. Mark Hamilton Mining Corporation. Mr. Mark, as agreed, here is an index summarizing the contents of the documents in the P64 folder. Somebody divorced, lost access to his children in 66 due to alcohol abuse. Who are these? Mm -hmm. Philip Blaze and Im immoral li liaisons with another man, numerous witnesses, Bridget theft, department store may be charged. Dr. Virgil de la Duratanya Dur practiced clandestine abortions between 1951 and 1960. Hugo Roy credit report insolvency times two. 
Uh, Lionel Trudel, 18 year old mistress, Suzanne Fontaine became pregnant, child raised by Miss Fontaine's sister Rita. Okay, so they, they, they had a lot of dirt on these people. Is that how they, they blackmail them into working for here? Can't go that way. I already went here. So time to check out this little break area. Run. Let me pop one more save. For Wingy. Right, so what exactly am I supposed to be doing? Is there anywhere else I can go? And those are locked. I went there. I can't go there. No, I was just in there and I went in here. Yes, but I did not go over here. Apparently, that is not a way to go. Okay, fine. I guess I'll go back. What I've really got to do, I went in here. What I've really got to do is get into Wingy. According to something that I saw. Oh, gotta, gotta hit the squeeze button. I just walk through narrow spaces. I went in here, right? Yes. Yes, I checked everything along this way. Yes. Yes, I did. Okay. Well, headed back then, I guess. No battery in the box. I'm going to go ahead and stop here. So, thanks for watching. And I uh, hope you come back for the next part and watch some more. And in that part, the next part, we will check out Wingy and find out what's going on and find out where all of our batteries be so until then so long Ooh, da -ba -dee -da -ba.